Welcome to this tutorial for the U Image Optimizer. This demonstration is going to focus on settings that are applicable to users of our cloud API. On this site, we're using the full U Image Optimizer, which does include the local optimization utilities. However, there is a special cloud only version of this plugin that has a much smaller footprint. Just search for U Image Optimizer in the plugin repository to find it. So, back on the settings page, there is a link to the plugin support form. If you need any help at all, post your question there, or you can contact us via our website at u.io. So, the next thing we see is the plugin status. Since we'll be using the Cloud API, if we have any errors, we can ignore those for now. And once we put in a key, we're going to save that. And then any errors should disappear and we'll get an all clear. There it is. Then it will tell you how many images you have optimized or how many image credits you have left. Under basic settings, we have the ability to remove all metadata. So you can uncheck this to preserve metadata. However, when using the maximum lossy mode, uh, copyright, GPS information, and creation dates are the only things preserved. Before we get into all the different compression levels, I want to clarify the difference between lossless and lossy compression. Lossless compression means we are keeping the original image pixel perfect, no quality loss whatsoever. Lossy always means there is a quality loss, but the amount of quality loss depends on the tools you use. U Image Optimizer uses smart compression algorithms to maximize the compression and maximize the quality so you get the best of both worlds. This is in stark contrast to something like Photoshop's Save for Web or just recompressing your images to JPEG quality 60 or 70 where the quality loss is quite noticeable. Now let's dive into those compression levels. The default JPEG compression for API users is maximum lossless. Regular lossless mode only uses the local tools if they are installed. The lossy compression for JPEGs uses JPEG Mini, which you can test out at jpegmini.com if you're not sure about trying lossy compression. Maximum lossy compression is uh, slower but has 10 to 20 percent better compression. Uh, this uses TinyJPEG, which you can check out at tinyjpeg.com or tinyping.com. The ping options are similar, except we have two lossless modes here uh, that use the API. If you're the type of person that wants to squeeze every last byte out of your images, you can try out the maximum lossless compression here. The lossy ping optimization uses ping quant and the maximum lossy compression uses tiny ping made by the same people as tiny jpeg. With our new PDF optimization you can choose lossy or lossless modes. The lossy compression excels in PDFs that contain images but one area where it doesn't work so well is when you have images of text in a PDF. For those kind of PDFs, it's best to stick with lossless mode. Lastly, we have a throttling feature, which allows you to slow down the bulk optimization processes so you don't overload your server. This is highly recommended if you're using shared hosting so that you don't go over your web host's usage limits. Now let's talk about the advanced settings. 
We'll cover all of these in a moment, but I want to highlight a couple important settings for Cloud API users here. So sometimes you may find that your web host's restrictions are just too tight for the plugin to process an image upload and all the resizes that are generated without timing out. Or you may have a feature where your visitors can submit images and you don't want them to have to sit there and wait while their images are optimized. In both of these cases, you can turn on deferred optimization, which will add the uploaded image to a queue for processing during the next hourly optimization. Another feature that can help save time and money is the ability to disable the resizes that are created by WordPress. Some sites have as many as 20 resizes listed here, so it can really be beneficial to look through these and see if you actually need these to be created or optimized. So another thing that really sets EU Image Optimizer apart from other image optimizing plugins is that it can optimize more than just the media library. First of all, EU extends the image editor class built into WordPress. Many plugins and themes make use of this, and when they do, the images they generate will be automatically optimized. But what if you have a bunch of existing images like this that are not stored in the media library? For that purpose, and for the developers who don't even use the built-in WordPress image editor class, we've implemented a folder scanning feature that will look for images from your theme, BuddyPress avatars, uh, BuddyPress Activity Plus, G Media, WP Symposium, and MetaSlider. If you have images elsewhere in your WordPress folder, you can add these to folders to optimize. For uh, plugins using the WP Image Editor class, this is a temporary thing. For plugins that have their own image editing code, where we can't auto-optimize their images on upload, you would leave the folder here and then turn on Scheduled Optimization, so that you checks for new images in these folders every hour. If you're not sure which category a plugin falls into, feel free to ask us again in the support forums. So brand new in U 2.8 is the ability to limit the size of images uploaded to your site. We support two different settings here. One for images uploaded using the media library add new page, as well as images inserted via the post and page editors. The other setting will affect any other images which get uploaded indirectly to the media library. This is often the case for theme images like logos, backgrounds, banners, sliders, and so on. If you have a lot of images already and want those to be resized, you can check this next box to make sure the bulk optimizer resizes them. When you do so, it will use the second dimensions for resizing other images. Lastly, we have a few options that let you exclude various images from optimization and even from metadata removal. For information on image conversion, the WebP features, and other aspects of using UIO, you can visit the installation page and check out the other videos listed there. Again, if you need any help, contact us via the support forums or our website at u.io. Happy optimizing!